What's happening, man? It's me, Duke. I'm here because uh, Mark is on vacation. Uh, so he told me to come down here and make uh, one of these here goofball videos for him. Uh, so today, we're going to be talking about how to defend yourself against the coronavirus. Okay? Now, do you know why? I mean, do you know why they named that virus after Mexican beer? Because it ain't good. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. I'll drink all kinds of beer. I really, I'll drink anything. One time, I drank wine that was made in a prison toilet. That's right. And it got me jacked up. Except it tastes like crap. <laughs> got a strong toilet. I'm just kidding. It didn't get me jacked up. Okay. So, he told me to do some like little funny intro thing. He left me some notes here. Uh... I don't read real good, uh, so he did draw some pictures on here for me, but I'm not really understanding a whole lot of it, so he said to do uh, a little joke before we start the video. Um, it says here, don't bother wearing a mask to protect yourself from the coronavirus. Now, why the hell would you wear a mask? You can't get it just from being ugly. <laughs> what the, don't make no damn sense. What the... Oh, okay. Oh, he meant one of these here masks, where the breathy things. He said, don't bother wearing one because it don't do nothing, unless your plan is to look like Bane from Batman. Who the hell Bane from Batman? Who the hell is that? I'm going to be straight up with you. I don't like superheroes. I'm not really sure why he asked me to do one of these videos, but uh, I'll give it a shot here. So I guess I got to do something funny for the intro to hookity boogity or whatever. <laughs> Let's start this shit. Okay, so welcome back to the Nerd Bar. Looks more like the Dork Cave to me. <laughs> Dead down. I mean, it's got more toys in here than a goddamn toy store in here. Don't make no damn sense. Um, so, uh, when it comes to the coronavirus, one of the most important things you can do, you've been doing it wrong your whole life. Straight up, you've been doing it wrong your whole damn life. And that's washing your hands. That's washing them damn hands, man. And let me tell you what. What you need to do is you need to score a ton of soap on them. And you need to rub them together like so. For about anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you how to do it. But, if you don't know how to wash your hands, <laughs> something wrong with you. Because, what you've been doing after you go to the bathroom? One of these? One of these? You ever do one of these? Oh yeah, I know what that is. That's, <laughs> that's probably what you're... Let's go, uh, let's go do some shit. Okay, so, here we are in the bathroom, okay? First thing you want to do, you want to turn the water on. You want to test it, so you don't burn your nuggets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that feels right. Good. And you want to take some soap, okay? About four or five pumps should be good. And then you want to sit there, get a little bit of water on one hand, and you want to rub it all in. Real good. Like I said, we're going to do this for about, mm, let's go about 35 minutes, okay? Man. Ah. Could sure go for some ribs right now. You know what I mean. Now that you're all done, you rinse the soap off. Find yourself a towel and dry them off. Now, I know what you're thinking. Duke, my hands must be super clean right now. Too bad because it ain't because you did something wrong. Well, maybe you did. I don't know. I ain't been watching you the whole time. You're over in TV land or whatever this is. <laughs> I can't see you. But you see this here? Let's get real close here. You see them lines? You know, like when you go to a fortune teller and then they tell you your future, like they say, you're going to marry a panda or whatever it is you do. See them lines? That's what you call cracks and crevices and crevasses or something. There's cracks in your skin. 
So that means you got to get in there. You got to smooth that out so you can get all the dirt that's out from inside of them crevices. So what's the best way to do that? You said it. Sandpaper. Let's go. Okay. We got the sandpaper. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is smooth out our hands so we can get inside all them cracks and crevices. Okay. So, basically, you want to just rub it on there, okay? Just get it on there real quick and just smooth out all that hand. I think the human body has somewhere around 50 or 60 layers of skin. So, you peel off the first 30 or 32, you're going to be fine, okay? You're going to be fine. Um, now, I know you're asking, what size grit do I use? What kind of what grit sandpaper do I use? Hell, I don't know. What do I look like? Bob Vila? Shit, I don't know. Just rub your shit on your hands, man. Let's go. Now, the faster you do it, you may smell uh, a little smell and maybe see a little smoke coming from your hands. That's just the skin burning off. You're doing fine. That means you're doing good, okay? Then you got to switch hands. Yeah. Woo! I kind of like that smell, though. I really do. Not bad. Okay, when you're done... Uh, your sandpaper going to get a little bloody. It's not a big deal, okay? But to know you're done, uh, your hand should look something like this, okay? When you can kind of see your bone, like when you go like this, and you can see your bones moving and stuff in there, then you know you did good. Like right now, I can see my heart beating inside my hand. It's weird. I think I have an increased heart rate or something. I know how to slow that down. Hold on. Okay, I think I got it to normal now. Okay, now... Now that your hand is all smooth with the cracks and crevices, there's only one thing left to do. And that's to spray Lysol in your hands. I'm going to go do that real quick. I'll be right back. If you feel it necessary, you can skip the Lysol part. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. Uh, your hands should be nice and clean, okay? So... I feel like I lost a lot of blood, like maybe I'm getting a little dizzy. This is only my first beer uh, this, today so far, so maybe, it, I don't know, maybe I didn't eat good or something. I don't really eat good. I eat a lot of fried food and stuff like that, but it's no big deal. Everybody eats that. It's no big deal. Now, that right there is the best way to fight that coronavirus, right there, okay? Washing their hands, okay? Kids are picking their boogers and doing stuff like that, and people are snotting and sneezing all over everybody, okay? Uh, you touch a public door handle, you touch, uh, somebody hands you a glass, uh, you want to high-five somebody for doing something good, or maybe even go give them one of them, go get him, boy, or you hit him on the butt, go get him, boy, like that. You can do that, too. You may leave, uh, you may leave a stain if you do not wash your hands already, but anyway, uh, that's what you want to do, and that's how you fight the coronavirus. That's it, people. That's it. That's it. Ain't nothing to it, man. Just wash some hands like, you, like you're supposed to. Remember, I told you you've been doing it wrong. You didn't even know about the sandpaper thing, did you? <laughs> i tell you what, man. Hold on. <coughs> oh, shit, man.